Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Um, so we have a new Dokkan Fest Easy TUR come out. Um, Physical Android 17. Um, I actually think he's pretty good. Um, characters, based on my quick thoughts, alright, like, characters that are like red zone level characters, right? 17 can live super attacks even for some of the biggest bosses in the game, uh, depending upon the situation, right, with some cer certain circumstances. But... Characters that can tank red zone, like, big attacks, but they're also supporting, are incredibly valuable. Um, you, using these support characters, it, it just, you can feel it during these runs. It is very, very helpful. So, I do look pretty favorably um, upon MVP 17. Now, the end of this list, for the most part, besides number 10 right here, hasn't changed too much, but we'll get into it. So, I actually dropped Physical Super Vegito significantly down from where he was. Um, I've continued using him quite a bit, and I just find currently I, there's not much incentive to use him, I feel. He can tank every normal easily, but so can many top-tier characters. It's not like that's that big of a deal, right? Like, good characters can tank red zone normals. If this guy came out during the 7th anniversary, he'd be fantastic. Because during the 7th anniversary, we didn't have tons of characters that could tank the normals. That didn't exist. You know. Um, so, I, I, you know, I, I don't know. This guy doesn't really do damage. Um, he can't tank super attacks. Um, it's, again, there's just not really a heavy incentive right now to run this guy. This guy is a major potential top tier character with a scouter, but... He doesn't have it. I, I I felt the need to drop him down significantly. Um, I I do still feel like there's value with him, but it's it's it, it it's it's weird. It's like this guy he needed something else. Like he he's good like this. If he then also had one more top tier powerful thing, but unfortunately he doesn't. Uh, next we're gonna get in Super Saiyan three Bardock. Um. A lot of characters have come out that I think actually benefit this guy quite a bit. Um, defensively, he is pretty mediocre, but he can be a lot better with that guaranteed additional super from the Power Bestow by God, or uh, excuse me, the um, Power Beyond Super Saiyan category. The thing with this guy is that that category has gotten some significant buffs lately. I mean, let's just cut to the chase. The number one character on this list is Power Beyond Super Saiyan. Uh, we said the fifth anniversary Blue Fusions, who... I think are like, you know, the third best units in the game. They're ridiculously uber stupid busted. Um, so it's like this guy, guess what? He's supporting. He can't take super attacks whatsoever, but against many normal attacks, this guy does perform well. I think he, he's decent. I mean, now that the difficulty is not sort of exploding, um, you know, on difficult content events too, you really can look at it where it's like, okay, like this Bardock, right? Like we use him for like the Cell Max event. Like he's a good option for the Cell Max event. Or, you know, Physical Super Vegito is great for like, you know, Omega Shenron, like the Red Zone Omega or, you know, Red Zone Final Form Cooler, you know, those types of fights. Um, it's like they're giving us more and more options capable of going into a bunch of these different tough fights, you know, just filling these teams out. You don't have to run, you know, if you want to do a full sweep of all the toughest red zone stages and sell max and stuff like that, you don't have to just run the same lineup every single time. We're starting to get a lot of options on these teams where you could use different setups. Um, I still like EGL Metal Cooler. Again, there has not been some power creep that has sort of pushed the cooler team off. Cooler team, I think, is still pretty much in the exact same spot that it was when it first came out. Um, very strong. I like this guy. I feel like this guy can get good stats. He works well on the cooler team. Um, I feel like lately I've actually kind of gotten a little bit less of a kind of favorable opinion of LR Metal Cooler. Um, LR Metal Cooler, he he can get caught, man. Like, it's, you know, maybe I just have the worst luck ever. This guy is decent. I, I, I kind of like the, this this AGL Metal Cooler. I feel like he's solid. He does have to take a bunch of hits like, you know, so many other characters. Um, but I, I feel like this Metal Cooler can get to some decent um, stat numbers. Um, I think he's a fine unit. Uh, next, we have Physical Future Gohan. Um, I feel like I maybe even could raise Physical Future Gohan up. Still pretty good. Although, one thing about Future Gohan is that, you know, you do need several turns for him to build up his full damage reduction where he starts to get pretty good. And he is probably going to need the super attack first as well before he's really tanky. And currently, you know, a lot of the more recent difficult events, Metal Cooler Core, Red Zone Cell Max, 
This guy isn't particularly the greatest in a lot of those fights. Well, actually, this guy probably would work pretty well against Red Zone Cell Max, uh, probably. As long as he's not on the STR phase, um, that damage reduction just right away would probably be fairly decent. I mean, provided you have the trunks. But this guy was helped dramatically by LR Future uh, Trunks and Vegeta. Um, and this guy will probably remain relevant for a little while. I was actually thinking about m bumping... Um, Gohan above Namek Goku here. Namek Goku has always been a character I've been more favorable on than most, um, but that's because he really does have incredibly good potential, right? Now, first, you do have to transform, which, you know, definitely, this is not guaranteed, right? You could have RNG cuck you with these transformations. I mean, that's, we know all about that, right? Um, and then once you do that, then he also does need, you know, the medium chance to activate as well, but I've won several difficult red zone attempt runs off of this right here. This guy with, you know, creating all these STR uh, key spheres and then, you know, going back and you get your defensive stacking, you can heal, heal quite a bit. Um, I, I, I like this character. I think this character is decent. Um, they certainly could have made him a little bit better like most of these ATURs, but I think that STR Namek Goku is a decent character. Okay, so now we get to Super Boo. So... I actually moved some stuff around a little bit here. Now, when, just real quick, when was the last time I did this? February 19th. Okay, so so this was after... I, I, okay, when I did this list, I knew that the Part 2 LRs were not like, you know, Kid Boo or something like that. This Boo is interesting because I do think that this right here... Is like basically the strongest thing here. It's Blue Cow Can Goku is actually kind of difficult to evaluate because he could just blow all the bosses away. But like, if they would give us like a, a, a difficult event power creep, this Buhan would likely be better even than Blue Cow Can Goku, right? Because it's like Blue Cow Can Goku is still an overpowered offensive unit who's going to taper out defensively, right? For the currently the way the difficult events are structured, Blue Cow Can Goku is just that guy. Like it's he's killing all these bosses instantly, right? But like if they took a jump with difficult events, I think that this Buhan would be better than than Blue Cow Can Goku. But notice what I'm saying here. This Buhan is better than Blue Cow Can Goku who you can't get until turn 5 anyway. And there's also RNG on which form you're going to get. This Gotenks is hor this guy is so bad. If you get this guy, it's just like GG, like he sucks. He's absolute trash. I have no idea what they're they like I I can only assume they made this guy so bad because they made Buhan so good. They're like, "All right, well Buhan could be, you know, god mode." But we're not going to make it guaranteed you're getting Buhan, and we're going to make this guy shit. I think Boo Piccolo is decent, right? Because you got damage reduction. D you know, high damage reduction is pretty good. This, this is a character that could get to de decent defensive stats. Remember that guard and damage reduction by themselves don't do anything. Unless you need super high damage reduction, or you need super high defense to pair with damage reduction or guard, right? A character doesn't just have guard and damage reduction, and they're, oh my god, they're so good. No, no, no. They need more than that, right? Either very high damage reduction or guard and damage reduction plus very high defense. One of the two. Um, this guy could do that. He's also supporting. I, I am very favorable to support characters that are red zone level. It's just if it helps the team out when you have characters that are doing that. I like this Boo a lot. I, I feel like this is a unit... In particular, like you can move him up and down, man. I number one is just so Chris. I feel like I I try to never really say this, but if your number one is different, you are wrong. Period. I I there's no way. Like let's just we could just get him out there, dude. I'm sorry. Like it's just it's so crystal clear, obvious. This guy is number one. Like I I there's no arguments against him at one. Nothing. Nothing is valid. Nothing works. No way. Absolutely not. He's too good. He's too good right now. Blue Cow Can Goku. You put him at one. Um, but like Boo, I I don't know that you could really push him down. But like any of these next spots, like you could rearrange him because again, there's so much RNG. Even a lot of these characters are very heavily RNG based. All, all the easy ATRs are like that. But this guy, it's like you know, you get this Boo out and he's guarding and he could triple super. You know, doing like 12, 13, 14 million attack stats. This guy is so crazy. 
right? But it's it's it takes a long time to get there. It's difficult to get there, you know. And honestly, this guy doesn't really have the greatest setups, the greatest teams. I mean, th- this is a villain who's you know hurt, of course. To be fair though, this guy doesn't need a boo to be good, right? Big bad bosses, metamorphosis, like he's got these two with cooler. All right, so it's like you could pair this guy with like easy STR cooler, I suppose. Right, he'd have big bad bosses, metamorphosis, fierce battle. Um, wait, does easy STR cooler? Does he have fear and faith? He doesn't, right? The, the coolers don't have fear and faith. I have to, I actually have to double check this. They do not. Okay, 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 okay. Um, all right, yeah, but we have Boo there. Uh, next, this is where I will put MVP seventeen in. Um, I I do like him right around here. We might as well just fill in the rest of the list, and then I'll just blabber on. So then we get Cooler, then we get Gogeta, um, and then we have Blue, Kaioken, Goku. So again, let's just fill out the list. I'll sort of take my time in talking about these characters, but it's not like we really need to delay things. So let's get Gogeta up there, and then Easy STR Cooler, still very, very powerful. So, number one, most important thing to keep in mind, is that we have had no change in difficult content, essentially since, like, Metal Cooler came out, right? The last like, truly difficult stage that came out, I guess, is, like, the Metal Cooler Core. Red Zone, I don't know, Red Zone Cell Max is tough. I, I guess I, I I would like to account for the Red Zone Cell Max fight. Like, if I would say, like, my, the world tours I typically do for new release characters is we'll do the final stage of the four Red Zones. So, DBS Broly, Omega, Metal Cooler Core, and Cell Max, and then also the Cell Max event. I feel like you take a character that through those five stages, and that can really give you a, a good sort of baseline in your head of, of what this unit can do, right? So, this, I, I feel very good about this. I don't feel like Cooler has fallen off, or, you know, Gogeta no longer is viable, or, like, like there's, there's really been no change in difficult content for quite a while, right? So, 17, I think, is very good. He's got some good setups. He can help out on some teams, like Final Trump Card and stuff like that. He certainly, defensively, is going to be a little bit better better if he's got Android Assault. That's kind of the big one you want to hit. Um, Tournament Power certainly can be a decent link for him. But with his damage reduction and defensive abilities um, and his support, I, I do like him quite a bit. If you're below 77% HP, this guy can even tank super attacks from, like, the Metal Cooler Core and stuff like that, which is really, really nice. But, um, you know, you can also have full health, and this guy could get caught. But like all easy ATURs, most of these characters can get caught. Well, really, all of them can. There's not a character on here that can't, like, sort of get caught. I guess... Blue Kaioken Goku for the most part, but I mean, he needs to be with a Universal Survival Saga ally to guard, so you do need that. But this guy right here is a buff to Blue Kaioken Goku because, like, this guy is a little bit more effective against, say, Red Zone Broly than, like, the UI Gokus are, right? So that's the other thing. If anything, this guy's presence just makes Blue Kaioken Goku better. Right, like Blue Cow King Goku is even better now than he did than he was when he came out a month ago. So that's something to keep in mind. This guy is very good. Um, and I do think measuring characters, how good they are, also does matter a bit on on who you're running them with. So it's like this guy, you know, having Blue Cow King Goku, or running him on Final Trump Card with all these crazy characters, or running him on the pretty seemingly stacked like Android Assault Android team with the Gammas and and Super Seventeen and stuff like that. It does feel pretty good. I do like him. Cooler, again, no real change. Great support, defensive stacker. Again, you guys should notice this about me. I'm very favorable on these big support characters that are good in red zone. It's just very valuable to have. Um, this guy helps LR Final Form Cooler become one of the strongest units in the game. It's really, really good. Um, I don't know that I really need to talk about this guy too much. He can get caught, right? But, like, you know, again, so can every other character on this list. I really like Gogeta, what he's capable of doing. Them lowering his transformation condition down to turn 4 helps him out a lot. In blue, he's got the 70% chance to dodge, plus crits, guaranteed crits. Very, very powerful. Again, he can get caught, but with the 70% chance to dodge, you're in a very good position in many of the fights. I really, really like Gogeta. Blue Gogeta is just really good. Really strong. Um, This is a great easy A. And then blue cow can Goku, man. I I just... I feel like, like... You might be, you know, I don't know, Joel on Twitter. You know, your account is Vegito Blue 27 or something like that. And you go, 
Well, I don't think Blue Cow Can Goku is that good because you have to bring the shitty Repsi Universe 7 allies on the team, and then that's going to cause you to lose. You have to do 10 attempts, you're going to lose 9, and then you get the one Spirit Bomb off and you win. That doesn't mean he's number one. Yeah, sorry guys. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't take 10 attempts for this guy to win you fights. Um, I, I feel like like when I was doing the World Tour, I, like you guys see, what I do with my videos, I'm not like overly resetting until we get the perfect run and then I record that one and I upload that one. Oh my God, we got the perfect run. I'm recording and we're just going. Like how things break down is how things break down when I do a lot of these runs. Because I think consistency is one of the other big things that matters. That's why I like Vegeta and Trunks. I like Vegeta and Trunks. I've been on them since day one because, you know, you could go into all these fights. You have that consistent level of performance, that consistent level of defense. You don't really need to reset for crazy RNG or something like that. They're super crazy. But this Blue Cow Kengoku is so strong offensively that I was doing it first try just doing it. I mean, yeah, I guess it's possible that the UI Gokus could sell, but it's not that tough. For this guy to carry when the reps of Universe 7 allies you could use are the UI Gokus, who the whole point of them is dodging anyway, right? Like, it's like if you have the two LR UI Gokus with the 70% chance to dodge, their only purpose is to dodge anyway. This guy's doing so much damage that he makes up the damage difference of the UI Gokus and then some. I Like, this guy is just crazy. I mean, they made him so nuts. And the thing is, too, the way they designed him with his guard... It, he eats all of these super attacks and all the punishment at the start. And then it just, it actually does just put you in perfect position to do this, right? Like this guy's defensive ability, he guards. So you won't, you don't get one shot, but you get put below the HP threshold and you drop the spirit bomb. I, like I've not only found it very easy to do the spirit bomb with this guy in the toughest fights in the game, metal cooler core, cell max, stuff like that. It's not only easy, it's consistent. It is. I, I'm sorry. Listen, this guy is number one. This is not my type of character. This is not the type of character I favor, but I'm not going to come on here and bullshit just because I've got an agenda. This guy's number one. It's just how, it's just how it is. That's it. This guy's number one. He, he, he's, he's just that good. So there you go. Uh, I feel very comfortable with this. Um, I was looking at it before. Oh, oh yeah. Here's what the tiers look like. And I, you know, if here's the thing right now, this is definitely true. A blue cow can Goku being this much better. Again, if we got a huge increase in difficult content, that could shake things up, right? Like, you know, Buhan, at, at his best, is probably the best easy ATUR here for, like, potential, like, stronger content. Um, but, like, right now, I, I feel very comfortable with this. Um, Blue Cow King Goku is too good. Um, and I was looking at this before, while I was making my list. And I was comfortable with some of the, the slide arounds I did here. So I did drop Boo a little bit, right? Super Boo. Um, I dropped him to five. Basically, I, I put Cooler back in front of him. I feel comfortable with that. Um, and then Physical Super Vegito, I dropped him way down. I, I did. I Like, I was just thinking about it. And it's like, what incentive do I have to run Physical Super Vegito? I, like, I, I feel like I want him represented on here. But, like... You know, could I put AGL Super 17 in front of him? Yeah, probably. Or like AGL Evolution Blue Vegeta. Or... Uh, I don't... I mean, I don't know if I would want to put Broly or Kid Goku. Uh, it, it's like... I, I feel like if I'm looking at the characters not here, the only ones in front... Like, Super 17 is even better now with the Dokkan Fest Super 17. I feel like I maybe could have put Super 17 at 10. I could have. I'm not the biggest fan of Turlet. Turlet is a little too squishy for me. Blue Vegeta, I feel like maybe you could put at 10. I'm not a fan of, like, the Vegito stuff like that. Like, I don't... Just because the 5th Anniversary Fusion... I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm just not high in this character and, and that type of ability he has. You know, certainly it could help him a little bit, this guy. That you have this and then the fifth anniversary fusions, but like I would, I'll take Super Seventeen over him all day. Yeah, so I don't know. I, this, this, I, I, I'm comfortable with this. Yeah, uh, physical Super Vegito. As much as I, you know, again can't find a reason to run him, he does still have value there. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, top ten again. You could move a lot of stuff around, but I, dude, you cannot argue against Blue Cow Can Goku. You can't. Uh, you can't. I just feel like you're being disingenuous arguing against Blue Kyle and Goku, or you actually don't have experience using him. It's just that simple. I, it, it's like you use him, 
and you see it's not a case of, oh, we lost 10 times, but that 11th Spirit Bomb was sick. That's not how it works. It's like you go in there, it's like, you know, maybe a UI Goku could sell, but I mean, you, you guys know, UI Goku doesn't typically die for me, right? Like, my problem is my 70% chances to dodge hits, 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 hits everywhere, but then my 70% chance to super attack is just a normal every time. That's what, that's what happens with me. So, I, I because of my luck with UI Gokus, I, it leads into me having no difficulty with Blue Cow and Goku dominating the entire game. So, y'all let me know. Uh, thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.